All right, we got two quick topics, man. Some quick hits, but we, I, I definitely got to play this because we, we've been wanting to play this for a couple weeks. Travis Scott with the bots. If y'all want to know how his Travis old managers, big, man, he used bots, man. He's in nothing else. That's oh, yeah, all that happened. Is, this clip is crazy. Yeah, it's about to shatter some hopes and beliefs <laughs> and reinforce some of some of y'all conspiracy theories. <laughs> Uh, check this out. His old manager, Stephen Morris, admitted that he hacked the SoundCloud system when Travis was coming up to... First, my name's Shane Morris, not Stephen Morris. And I didn't really hack the SoundCloud system as much as deploy a lot of bots. And I'll show you how I did it right now. Turnkey cloud server of your choice. I like Ubuntu 2204, $6 a month. Firefox doesn't depend upon Wayland, so you'll need to run Xorg. Yes to install. Run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. As a technical note, you can also run Ubuntu inside a container if you want to do that. I recommend Docker, and then you could redeploy them with Docker Swarm, and you could scale this almost infinitely. Anyway, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. sudo apt install x init. It'll install, it takes... All right, I don't want people's brains to fry. Just Especially, listen to this. I don't know what he's saying, bro. <laughs> Especially for y'all who are just potting. Like, you can't see uh, you can't see it. Um, Speaking a different language, bro. <laughs> basically, a he got bots for $6 a month. Yeah. And and it was for SoundCloud, which is we know what what happens when people figure out new tech before the rest of the industry does. It's, yes. it's, it's really the the true like ultimate cheat code. If you can figure out this big tech driver before everybody else realizes you can do it, you are gonna grow like crazy because by the time everybody figures out they can do it, one is too late, and then two there are things being implemented to stop it. You know, yep. by the time everybody else realized they could do the bot strategy, because there were hella people in, what was that, 20, probably 16, 17, maybe yep. 18, implementing bot strategies, they were too late. They were now doing it at a time where people were getting caught for it. And then yep. you think about where SoundCloud was at the time, and even just something like that, we weren't aware of it. So our first thought isn't like, oh, he's gaming this, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't even know that could be done. Right. Maybe some industry people probably thought that, right? But It's like when people first started to have like, oh, 50,000, 100,000, a million followers, and you don't even think that, any Probably. of these could be pay, uh, yeah. fake. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you know we talk a lot about how how much perception plays into your your marketing, right? Yeah. So I can only imagine back then it's probably looking like, oh man, son, Travis Scott's growing like crazy on SoundCloud. You know, labels probably seeing that like, oh, let's have a conversation with him, and he made good music. Like, which I feel like we have to emphasize. Like, you always can, you can find a finesse if you have good music and you can find a finesse. Chances are you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Because um, yep. the finesses only work for the artists with good music. If you finesse without good music, people, we just laugh at you and think you're crazy, right? It's like, damn, why'd you do that? That shit didn't make no sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that he was so early to that, one, is crazy. Two, Shane's background, like just being lucky enough to be connected to someone like that, that can put a system like that together for you, that is luck in itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. think about all the managers. Yes. Artists come across, bro. How many of them know how to speak whatever language that was? <laughs> <laughs> like, how many? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think yeah. a lot of managers. I mean, not I wouldn't say a lot of managers, but like you think of managers having like traditional skills. Oh, they probably understand record contracts and, mm -hmm. and you know relationships, which probably are all things. I'm sure he understood at the time as well. But then it's like, hey, my manager has this one very unique skill set mm -hmm. that most of y'all managers don't probably don't have, and we about to gas this shit. Yo, that's a that goes back to that conversation about the people on your team. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can find people who have these additional skills outside of music, especially for indie teams, yeah. Like, you want to find value in places that the industry typically doesn't have on lock, mm -hmm. because then you'll be able to have a connect. It's like, oh man, this person has all types of sponsorships because they came or they understand the sponsorship um, arena because they work corporate and they have all these connections, so they don't need to go through labels to get you the money. They can go straight to deals, even though you're not yeah. a big artist because yeah. they ran that game, yeah. right? Or yeah, they might be from tech or they got a whole bunch of tech friends so they can code and hack to do certain things. Yeah. There's all these other seemingly obscure talents that you can apply to you. And if you look at your team, if you can find a couple of folks like that who have different arenas and backgrounds to add towards the standard that's required in, in music, that's when you start doing stuff different, right? That's when you are early to something like NFTs because they're just mm -hmm. in NFTs and you're able to do it right. Not like, oh, I just tried to drop something and nothing really happened or I did a little scam, but no, you did the thing right. That's what Snoop Dogg is doing so well. 
Yeah. He knows how to keep people who understand these other categories outside of music around him. However, he's doing it, right? But mm -hmm. like we already know <laughs> for him to discover our boy, you know, and hop on a track with, you know, um, can we even say that? I feel like not yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, but to even understand and find that he existed at that level and hop on a track, right? Yeah. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's something that's valuable at every single level. And when you, for those who are, hearing this i'll just leave it at that like yes even somebody at snoop dog like at that level right typically to stay at that level you are keeping your ears to the street in some way mm -hmm. whether that's the street on the internet and you understand that very well because you gotta think snoop dog also been doing the youtube show for so long like his digital game is Crazy. stupid yeah. for an artist his size there's nobody moving like that at that size like he's moving in a true like indie organic grassroots way mm -hmm. than what he built digitally and or you just translate it to a more traditional like i'm jay-z or somebody like that and we have young people around us right to let us know what's going on with trends in music or kanye and trends in fashion or whatever right it's keeping your ears to the street in some form of fashion is extremely valuable once you get up there but it's exceedingly valuable when you're just trying to make it and get on in the first place. Yeah. yeah. So I think people need to stress that a lot more. Uh, we got this other, this last thing, because we've been holding on to this. And it's just about the Suicide Boys. I don't know if y'all know about the Suicide Boys, but oh, I was I was checking them out pretty heavy, probably starting three years back. But what's crazy is Suicide Boys are the highest streaming independent artists in the world. Pre Tyler Swift. Pre. <laughs> oh, that would suck. That would suck. <laughs> hey, you're not getting that back. you not getting <laughs> uh, Yeah, Taylor came and messed the game up. I, I, I'm like, man, that don't count because. <laughs> she <laughs> Taylor Swift. Bro. That's the argument I make. Like, bro, she Taylor Swift. We're not beating her, bro. Right. That, 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 for real, that doesn't really count. But it's still impressive because of one, like how long they've been around. Two, just how much they stray away from like mainstream looks, which they speaks a lot to that. They legit yeah. stay away from mainstream, like just, yeah. Like, a, I, I don't know, I, don't, I won't say scared, but like they really just like, nah, we not doing that. So to be even considered, should even being considered to be one of the highest independent streamer artists with that type of reputation speaks volumes. Because it's like, it really shows like, hey, like you don't need the mainstream looks per se. If you can build like this cult fan base, which they have, they have a, a massive cult fan base at this point. They've been around for like a long ass time. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, bro, they'll push the needle for you in, in such a way that like you'll still be competing with people who get better looks than you. Because there are probably thousands of artists that we can name that have gotten better looks than they have over the course of their careers. I'm not even close to touching that number. Not even close. It's a, it's a 1.8 billion streams lifetime. Right now they have 9.5 million monthly listeners. That number, I mean, once you start getting to nine, I mean, once you really get to two, three monthly listeners, yeah. you're doing something special. Yeah, I consider one million to be like entry level mainstream. Entry up. Yeah, you're like, you're yep. like at the bottom of the top of the totem pole. Two, yep. three is like, okay, you starting to get a little footing in it. Five and up is like, you know, cause I, I, want, I want to say like Smino probably has like five or six million monthly listeners. To me, he's like in a weird middle space. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's not a superstar, but he's not like small artist yet. So it's like, yeah, but nine million to me would be the equivalent of being like, a seven out of like a six or seven out of ten, you know what I'm saying? Type of artist. Like, mm, all yeah. right, so what's if that's mm, maybe five, six? Let's start at 10. What's 10? That's like the Drake Titus with the bad. So that's line. 50 million and above, yeah, ish. Maybe 30 million. Nine might be 30 million, yeah. All right, so that's like Jay Z's at like 30 million, yeah. Um, probably Chris Brown. Chris Brown, I think let's, he's at 20 or 30. Let's see what Chris is. What, how, how does Chris have less than Jay Z's? No way. 48 million. Oh, 48? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Man, but he also got a viral TikTok on right now. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, was, but he's up in. He'd be in that yeah, nine, that but, nine you know, but that was also an old song. Hey, that's, yeah. that's, look, yeah. <laughs> all of it counts. All of it counts. Yeah. So then, yeah, that's like, so yeah, that 48, 50 million, you, you are 10, 10 yeah. off of all artists' brand. Yeah. I'm actually surprised Jay Z has somewhere in the 30. But I think he yeah, he's at 31. You know what I mean? Um, so, all right. So, that's nine. Yeah. So, 20s is eight. Yeah. So, 10 would be like seven. Wait, what? 
No, you say, uh, ten, no, no. If, if 20s is eight, yeah, okay, 10, yeah, the, the teens, yeah. yeah. The teens. So nine is six, right at six. You yeah. said six, seven. Yeah. I can see that. So six, let's go all the way down the road. Let's, let's go ahead and rank them then. So six, if you're, now it has to get smaller. You're at level six if you're between, let's say five and 10. Yeah, five, yeah. Well, we said nine for that, so it'd be like five to eight. Somewhere in there, five to eight point something. You know. No, nine is six. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Nine million up is a six, right? No, so, nine million is basically the cap. Ten yeah. million and up is a seven. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So that's nine, six. We're at nine, six. So yeah, so five would be, yeah, I probably say like six to eight, somewhere in there. Um, four being, you know, probably like closer to three or four, three being three or four monthly listeners, yeah. million monthly listeners, yeah. and then so then two is two million. Yeah. And then one is one million. So yeah. anything less than that, you're just not in the game yet. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> not the mainstream entry level main. Well, not the mainstream game, at least. You know what? I would take that back. I would say seven hundred. Seven hundred. If it's a consistent seven hundred to a million ish, that would be level one, entry level mainstream to me. I don't know, like seven hundred thousand. Yes. I feel like seven hundred thousand. You're like standing on the doorstep of mainstream. They just ain't opened the door for you yet. Because one, or once you're at seven hundred thousand, you just couple it with looks. Because remember, looks can make you more mainstream than you are musically. Yeah, okay, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's so true. that's what I'm going with. Seven hundred thousand. You could be mainstream if you have certain types of looks, but if you're just straight streaming, then you know you're doing well, but you're not technically mainstream just off of the strength of your streams. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like a million when like the major industry starts to take you seriously. To them, you're like a new artist. I'm like, oh, I got a million. Oh yeah. Oh, if <laughs> to some of these folks, if you have a million streams and they come across you they just discovered you yeah like they are the one oh i remember one. i just i discovered such and such who had a million streams already <laughs> they they out here christopher columbus and people yeah. basically well you discovered but bro was at five million monthly listeners when <laughs> when you start hey, talking about him that's not nothing on my scale <laughs> like, you, you you a little itty bitty right so, it, it makes me think of this conference that me and sam went to one time because I always remember this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. It was like a booking conference. And I just remember this lady on stage talking about discovering new talent. And she talked about how, like, yeah, we got this new artist we're excited about. Like, she's new bubbling. Her name is Summer Walker. And, like, bro, this, is, this wasn't that long ago. This is, like, two, three years ago. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I remember when she said it, me and Sam looked at you like, Summer Walker, a new bubbling artist. Like, what are you talking about? And I, that was when it clicked for me, like, how out the loop people at that level really are, or like, or even put into context, like what they consider to be like underground and new and bubbling, right? It's like, oh yeah, like I think she had just dropped the first song she had with Drake on it at that point. Mm. And so us that know, knows about her, that's kind of like, oh man, this is a huge moment for her. She really don't level it up. But then that was probably the the point where probably like 90% of that room had ever first heard of her. Now kind of looking back on it, thinking about the people that were in that room the environment and I that moment. It. Yeah. I so believe it. It was just wild to hear, bro. Like when she said like Summer Walker, new new artist. What, bro? I was like, she's on millions of streams at this point. Bro, it's like being in a room full of billionaires and you talking about your hundred mil. Yeah. Like, hey, good for you, bro. Yeah. You you'll get there one day. Oh so. man. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but, new will be on your path. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but it always makes me think of that first time we went to that when we went to that playlist supply concert, uh play supply conference and we was at that YouTube. Playlist thing. supply conference? Not supply. Um what was it called? Playlist push. Was it playlist push? Remember that influencer conference we went to? In Florida? Oh, not playlist push. That's a company. But playlister, I think. Something like that. Something but, like yeah, that. Yeah, in Florida. Yeah, when we were in that room with the other YouTubers and everything talking, I was like, Oh bro, y'all hundred K man, y'all y'all get a million one day. And I was like, <laughs> Like, bro, we didn't even come here as YouTubers. We came here as, as business people, bro. Like, <laughs> don't be over here breaking down my back end. I ain't asking you to do that. Let me give me words of encouragement. Hey, pause on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I was about to ask you for your influence, right? Why are we talking about me right now? Right. But that, it right. clicked for me then, too. I was like, man, there's a there's a level to this hierarchy, bro. Like, you know, hey. so then I was like, hey, bro, you just got in the game. Yeah. Like, you got a whole nother level that hey. you got to keep working your way into. That is, you wonder why they keep working so hard when they already there because they started meeting new people, bro. Yeah. And it's, that was the same conference where I remember that woman saying that to brands, like, in the YouTube world, I didn't even consider you in the game until you had a million subscribers. I remember mm -hmm. that was the first place I ever heard. It, and I was like, damn, a million? 
It's a different word. I remember uh, Mario. You remember Mario? The, the you arts? should let me love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I remember hearing him talk about, you know, the actor, uh, artist, money, all that stuff, you know, mm. running numbers up. And he said, you start getting his access and you start being around these people who got way, 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 way more money. And he's like, you never heard of them, mm-hmm. not associated with music at all. He's just like, man, he just changed his whole perspective. And he's like, man, I got to figure out how to get it by the music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, you own this? Are you such and such daughter? And hey, it's them levels, man. You got a gravel company? Like, Gra- how much from that? Gravel company. Who was, my dad told me yesterday about a black owned bread company. I think they were the first launch black black owned bread company. Wow. Like just sliced bread. Yeah. It's like, it's like, hey man, like people do gotta eat bread. <laughs> that's from my next business, but I'm making cement or something. I don't know. Find something boring and make <laughs> it sexy, like, man. Yeah. Like for real. And sometimes you ain't gotta make it sexy. Just find something boring that nobody else wanna do well. Yeah, bro. I, I I'd definitely be thinking about that in my <laughs> my uh my music retirement. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go find one of these companies, chill out, and then just pop up. Yeah, maybe flip it around. Maybe at the time, like, I don't know, like Tom or somebody be lit. And I'm like, hey, bro, come be the face of my concrete company. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to see it coming, bro. Nobody's going to ever expect the artist to be the face of a concrete company. Bro. We could change the landscape. Let's do it. How we going to. How, how we gonna tie the mail in with you know the <laughs> like we want, the mail, man. we want every every sixteen year old in the country to be asking for bricks of concrete for Christmas. That's what I want to have my campaign. You can use Gucci man. Actually that would be fine. Bricks, baby. That would be crazy. Hey. That, I can't believe nobody's ever tried to do that before, bro. Bruh. <laughs> Get your That's bricks it. from Stanley Bricks and <laughs> Company. Hey, bro, you wanna you wanna be able to sell bricks without having to get in trouble? Up, for, hey, yo, we we selling bricks, baby. Oh man, <laughs> well, nobody better steal that idea. Oh no, nah, yeah, nah, no brick layers watching this. We, we, <laughs> no concrete people watching this. <laughs> Appreciate you watching. Fun fact, every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you want to be a gem seeker, collect all the gems, keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.